Welcome to the PS5 launch vlog. Right now I am wearing a PS5, or rather a PlayStation hoodie, which I've worn a number of times. However, I do have a special different hoodie that when I bought it, I vowed that I would wear it only on the launch of the PS5 and then beyond. Like, I don't want to just buy... Because, like, the price per wear, the PBW would be through the freaking roof, son. So, yeah, I'm allowed to wear it after Thursday. But Thursday, Thursday, is the release of PS5. I'm very excited. Ah, uh, um, Miles Morales is already out in the UK. And by the time Thursday rolls around, I will have had to have waited, what, uh, a week. Seven days of pain to play this game that I'm extremely excited for. Um, so yeah, it's it's Monday night right now, so still many days to wait. Um, Thursday's going to be a fun day. Um, I don't have the day off work or anything like that, so annoying. But hopefully I'll, you know, well, I'll be in, I'll be working from home, so I'll have time to turn it on, set it up, and hopefully it'll be all ready to go for when I finish work. Um, and then we've got Taskmaster in the evening, and then it'll be Mandalorian in the morning. So yeah, it's going to be a lovely few days. Um, exciting so yeah let's see how all of this goes and things good morning it's uh, the day of the playstation 5's release so i'm now allowed to wear my my sick hoodie that i got myself with the cool foil on so actually maybe i should do that piece um yes excited to receive it i've had confirmation that it's arriving today so first hurdle done um, hopefully it's arriving um, around lunchtime, 12 to 1 sort of time is where we'll be looking at, so um, yeah, let's go. So I'm just doing some work bits, Claire's doing the same in the background there, listening to LBC. Um, it's about half 11, so PS5 should be here soon. Okay, we have got touchdown, let's uh, crack it open. Wait, what does that say? I didn't really look at it. Peel it out. Okay, we have it in place. It's rather large. Um, very heavy. But um, still fits in our little unit and looks absolutely fine, to be honest. So, let's turn it on for the first time. TV is currently saying it's an unknown device. Let's change that. Hopefully it'll recognise it as a PS5 anyway, we'll see. Oh, that hasn't turned it on. Maybe I need to turn it on like the... Uh... Do I even know how to turn it on, to be honest? Probably that one. <gasps> Don't tell me it's a game console, it's a PS5! We're adjusting the picture quality so that you can experience a better ultra high definition screen. <gasps> wow. So this has been another little bit of a weird vlog. Um, bit random, but hopefully that's good in some ways. Um, so yeah, PS5, I've now had it like four days. This is Monday. And absolutely loving it. I completed uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales last night. Sort of just hammered it hard uh, yesterday. Uh, and well, since, I've, since I've got it sort of. But most of the playtime was yesterday I think. Sunday. Um, <clears throat> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Looks beautiful. Um, the story is excellent. Uh, the gameplay is fantastic. It's a great um, sort of sidestep from the original Spider-Man. Um, and I think that the, the sequel has some really strong opportunities to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm sort of hoping and expecting that the, the spotlight will actually be shared between Miles and Peter. Um, I'm sure, or at least I, I guess I hope, the gameplay is sort of 50-50 between them. Um, 
and I, I believe that they'll find ways to make Peter Parker feel a little bit more different. That's what I think will happen, um, because arguably Miles is better than Peter. He's got Venom powers, less gadgets, yes, but he's got Venom powers, um, that his lightning abilities, um, and sort of his cloaking stuff. So there's there's some quite significant things there, whereas Peter's gadgets feel a little bit less significant in comparison. So I think they'll do something to address that. Um, but yeah, it'll be really interesting to have this narrative between two people if they do do it that way. I'm not not saying they definitely will just i think it'd be mad if they didn't so i've obviously had some time with the controller now and the controller is just a really impressive bit of kit the adaptive triggers i don't know if i spoke about this but you see how now they're like normal triggers um the controller can change the way they feel and they also have individual rumble in the triggers um so for example on astro's playroom you do some portions as a spring toy so you, when you push down to push down on the toy you feel a lot of resistance and then it clicks at the end um, and the way it vibrates and also the way that the sound comes out of the actual controller um, when you're a spring it sort of creaks with metal spring creaking like um, and that also adds to the feel of it as well um, it's also got this because of this haptic what they're calling haptic feedback it's got like precision rumble so for example when you're when your feet tap over metal in Astro's Playroom, it sort of jabs like that in individual areas, like on specific sides of the controller. So that works really well. Really similar to the Nintendo Switch HD Rumble. Um, I just think it's a little bit more better utilised than, than the Switch. And because I think it encompasses the entire controller, so you can have one side or, or in the middle and give a, a, a vague sense of it in different kinds of rumble across the whole thing, I think it's a, I think, do think it's actually better than the Switch because the Switch is just on technically on one Joy-Con. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, really comfortable as well. Feels a little bit chunkier than the last controller. Um and it's brilliant yeah the ps5 in general is amazing it's so fast switching between games like miles morales loads in like uh, when you switch on the console the, sw the console takes probably 10 to 15 seconds to turn on maybe to get you to the home pa home screen and then i think miles morales probably you're in the game within 10 or 15 seconds um, if you're from rest mode you'll be within the game within a few seconds and in the game itself you can fast travel in like three seconds like nothing takes virtually any time to load so I think that's one of the one of the biggest changes actually is the loading time it is just so fast um, yeah really excited to try more with it um, I'm going to finish off Astro's, Astro's Playroom next um, and eagerly await uh, I'm going to keep my eye on Sackboy for a price drop um, we'll sort of see how how long I'm willing to wait on before I want to play a new game but uh, to be fair guys I do have a, a still a, a big list of Switch and PS4 games to play so I'll probably just crack on with them to be fair wait some, for some price drops um, and then the next next big game PS5 that I'm looking forward to is uh, Destruction All Stars which I think is our PS Plus game for January or February I think it's February um, so we'll see with that um, otherwise I hope they just announce some more stuff soon and uh, thanks for watching this little video, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.